Now this illustration is talking about dedicated electrical space in accordance with the NEC 110.26 E is in Ed 1, little apple A. Now uh, notice in the illustration, it's uh, kind of busy, but it lists important uh, requirements that we would need to look at. Now the note says clearances shall comply with 110.26E. Now notice again that uh, we show an air conditioning duct coming in that's for that room. Uh, we show uh, uh, piping, uh, sprinkler heads and things that are related to the room, and that's okay. Notice that we have the clearancing workspace of 110.26A, and we have the three foot because condition one, two, or three is not applicable here because you don't, we do not have shown in the illustration a wall behind the worker's back. And notice they can switch, say, uh, 480 volt, 208, 240 volt, 120 volt breakers as long as they're maintained by the uh, NFPA 70E Table 130.5C as in car and Chapter 7 of NFPA 70B, and if, if they happen to be circuit breakers, Chapter 17 of the 70B document uh, has to be uh, looked at also. Now, notice the width and the depth zone uh, is 110.26, E is an Ed 1, little a. And then notice the six foot uh, rule uh, or less uh, above the electrical equipment uh, is shown. And notice that six foot goes all the way up to the roof level with a suspended ceiling uh, installed between that uh, uh, six foot, which is legal uh, by code. And well, notice that it's over 600 volts uh, in 110.34F if we use OSHA regulations. It's over a thousand volt listing if we should use the NEC sections that we will see in the boxed in information. Now notice there are two main sections for transformers, 450.13 and 450.21. Now, in previous illustrations under conditions one, two, and three, we show the, the transformer with five bullets that show uh, sections that should be reviewed if transformers are present. Now, uh, those are transformers, a thousand volts or less uh, rating by NEC that you see in the boxed in uh, NEC loop information. Uh, 110.26A through E uh, deals with uh, your clearances uh, and 110.27a through c uh, we deal with uh, clearances in and around electrical equipment but notice over a thousand votes we're picking up 110.34a through f 110.31a and b and 110.32 as well as 110.33 now we're going to look at these sections we're just calling them out so you know that they have to be reviewed if you fall within that voltage level. So our figure 5-10.1 uh, or A simply deals with the dedicated electrical space above the equipment, but we also have space in front of the equipment. And the uh, grayscale information, the six foot is above the equipment, the three foot depth is there. The width, which is the width of the equipment in this case, is uh, there. And then the six and a half foot headroom is based upon the height of the equipment because the equipment has a greater height than the electrician. So that's what this figure is illustrating is the dedicated workspace uh, in compliance with uh, NEC 110.26E1A.